Hello everyone, welcome back. I want to talk to you guys today about the three uh, members only injunctions that we have against the ATF for the pistol brace rule. Okay, so it is members only, and in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the benefits that I see of it being members only because a lot of people don't like that it's members only. They're saying, hey, it should be a national injunction. Um, but let me tell you guys, uh, long term, strategically, I think the members only might help us more because the members only incentivizes people to join these three groups, right? The uh, Firearms Policy Coalition, Gun Owners of America, Second uh, Amendment Foundation. Uh, it incentivizes people to join these groups uh, so that they will be able to partake in the benefits of, of this injunction okay um, now uh, this you know this injunction isn't the end uh, in fact this is probably like the beginning because what's what I think is gonna happen is that these groups now are being incentivized that hey we go to court we, we get injunctions we win uh, that's going to draw more more memberships uh, and the more lawsuits we file the more members we're going to bring bring in and basically it this is a cycle that continually feeds itself okay so uh, on the one on the one side there's the benefit of hey as these groups are funded they have more money to file more lawsuits against anti-gun laws and this isn't just at the at the at the uh federal level okay also think uh state and city level right think new york think new jersey maryland illinois Chicago okay uh, and it's not just these three groups but other groups out there are going to see this business model and they're going to see that it's working right uh, you know these three groups they got the injunction their memberships group so now it is going to incentivize these groups I'm sorry it's going to incentivize other groups in addition to these three groups to go out there and file lawsuits and try to get these injunctions and try to win uh, so that they can also grow their membership. Okay, so that's why long term strategically I, I think that this is going to be really good for us now aside from these groups having the funds to fight the anti-gun laws uh, the other benefit of this is that uh, You know as these groups grow their memberships They're able to have more influence on the politicians. Okay, so uh, consider this if you think that the politicians were um, were concerned were, were respectful of the NRA because they had five million members okay well think how respectful they'll be of you know GOA FPC SFA if those groups have like 30 million members each okay uh, so the NRA had a business model which was basically uh, you know to collect money and try to influence politicians behind closed doors okay uh and you know to some extent it was working you know how how you know and you can't say it wasn't working completely because hey i mean it, it they you know o over the course of so many years they did manage to block lots you know a significant amount of anti-gun laws you know exactly how significant how, how effective they were that can be questioned they did do something okay it's hard to argue they did you know i mean i mean look what they i mean they managed to stop obama right uh when he was trying to uh ban ars um i mean at, at the time they were the only they were really the only ones that 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 the um that the politicians were listening to okay uh, other groups like goa yeah they existed at the time but uh, they really weren't paying attention to them at the time. They were only really paying attention to the NRA. So, at a certain point, the NRA was really effective, but they really weren't in incentivized to go beyond that. Okay, um, so I think that a lot of these other groups they said, "Hey, if we want to, you know, if we want to be successful, we need to try and do something differently. We need to be more aggressive." And you know that, and basically, the for example, GOA was a no. You know, a no compromise groups, okay? Because the NRA was exactly that. They were a compromise group. They were basically, NRA was negotiating our rights away, okay? Um, GOA said, hey, you know what? We're not gonna compromise at all. So a couple of years ago, maybe nobody was listening to them, right? On the, on the politician side, 
at this point, I think that they're starting to take notice, okay, especially with these three injunctions that these groups have, right? SFA, FPC, and uh, SFA. Um, I think politicians are starting to kind of take notice of them if they manage to grow their memberships really fast. Um, and I don't mean like 5 million members like the NRA, right? I'm talking like 20 and 30 million members. They're going to be really, really effective. So that's why I think this membership only injunction helps that cause. It will help drive the membership numbers up, uh, which will give these groups immediate funding so they can continue to fight in court. Uh, and also they can hold sway over politicians simply because they got lots of people in their, you know, lots of voters within their membership ranks, okay? Um, so don't, and don't just think at the federal level because these groups are also going to go at the state and at the, at the city level as well. Again, especially in places like New York, New Jersey, Maryland, Illinois, California, you know, Hawaii. Um, the good thing about this is that, you know, we're, we're actually on the offensive here, right? Because um, a lot of people are looking at this and say, hey, you know, this, we're, we're losing, you know, we're not doing so well. We, it took us so long to get an injunction. And yeah, I didn't like the fact that it took us so long to get the pistol brace injunction. And it is not national, it is membership only. But hey, think of this from the perspective of the anti-gun groups, okay? Uh, think of it from their perspective, how they are feeling, okay? How butthurt they are because they are losing, okay? Um, because at this point, we're not on a defensive anymore. We're on the offensive. Um, we're reaching into the anti-gun states and we're trying to basically get, we're fighting the laws in those places, okay? Um, so that's why I think that strategically, strategically, long-term, uh, these membership-based instruction, uh, membership-based injunctions are going to help us. They're gonna help provide funding for more lawsuits and they're going to increase the membership numbers uh, so that we can file even more lawsuits uh, and also be able to influence the politicians okay um so i don't know i i think i think it's a good thing in, in the law in the long run for us okay now uh what do these injunctions mean right um I, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys i did briefly consider uh, you know pulling out two braced ar pistols and coming out boop, 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 you know you know boop, 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 boop. i said you know what let me not get ahead of myself uh, because the way this injunction would work is, let's say I made a video like that, right? Uh, ATF shows up at my door with a warrant, right? Um, and you know, because you know, I'm sure they can find some anti-gun judge in you know to, to sign it for them, right? So they show up at my door with a warrant. They arrest me. They take all my guns, and now it's up to me to basically go to court and hold up my FPC card, right, um, and 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 try to you know have my lawyer spend money on my lawyers to have them argue that I was covered by this injunction. So um, I don't think that that is ta tactically tactically sound. So although I thought it would look really cool in the video, I said, hey, you know what? Uh, that's not really effective for me. Okay, um, the way that I'm most effective is as a gun instructor. Okay. Uh, basically, what that means is I need to be out there recruiting more people, training people, turning non-gun owners into gun owners, okay? Uh, so, making a cool video shooting two brace pistols, yeah, that would look cool, but it would be only a momentary, you know, pleasure, okay? Um, Long-term, strategically, I, I, I help the cause more by recruiting more people to our side. So it's better for me to stay out of trouble and keep doing my job, okay? Um, so, uh, so basically, just because you are covered by the injunction, what I'm recommending uh, is that you don't flaunt your braced pistols uh, and, and, you know, injunction card, right? Whether it's from FPC, GOA, or uh, SFA, okay? Uh, I recommend you guys play it smart. Um, you, know, if, you know, even if in the end you win, uh, nobody is going to, you know, you still got to pay for this out of your pocket, right? You still got to pay for all the lawyers um, to defend you, right? So even if you win, you lose, okay? Um, so let this thing play itself out. When all is said and done, when, we're, when this thing completely works its way through the courts, 
uh, and the and the pistol brace ban is declared unconstitutional, then we'll make the videos shooting the braced pistols. Okay, I think I may have a bug on me. There we go. Um, so there are my thoughts on that. Now the other thing I would also recommend is uh, you contact your gun lawyer, okay, and and basically uh, get their blessing on this, right? Uh, that you are that you tell them that you got your you know that you, that, that you have uh, whatever an FPC or uh, GOA or SFA membership, uh, and 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 basically tell them you know tell them that you have a braced pistol and ask them to confirm for you in writing that that you are that you are that the injunction basically applies to you uh and you now you can say where are you gonna get a lawyer okay so here's the thing i've got an 11 dollar a month lawyer okay um hold on let me pause this camera let me show you guys who i got all right so especially with this injunction stuff right um the one i use is u.s law shield okay eleven dollars a month you can see right there 10 95 okay let's just round up to eleven dollars a month okay uh, and then with the promo code, which is Pocono Shooting, you get either, uh, depending on what state you're in, you'll either get like $20 off or you'll get a free month uh, or you'll get two free months. So I don't know what benefit you have in your state, but just type in the promo code and you'll see what you get. So the promo code is Pocono Shooting. You have to sign up through the website, which is uslawshield.com or through their phone app or their, their app, which you can download. Okay? Uh, so that's what I would recommend that you do with your injunction. I would recommend that uh you, you you get a membership here right eleven dollars a month and uh basically just t you know basically run it by them tell them hey you you know you got a brace pistol you have a membership in these groups send them a picture of your card uh and have them confirm for you in writing it could just be in, a, in an email um that that it applies to you right so it's just it basically it's an extra level of protection and and like i said i don't recommend you flaunt your your braced pistols like you know like you can take them to a private gun range and i'm sure they, they're not going to mind but i wouldn't take it to a gun range uh that that you know like to a public gun range especially like a free gun range uh, like i have in my state in pennsylvania uh you know where a lot of times there might be cops there or, or you don't know who the other people there are so uh, you know basically use some common sense with that protect yourselves at all time um you know basically assume that everybody is a fed uh an informant uh, or scammer. <laughs> That's why I tell people in my, uh, uh, you know, in, in the groups that I manage. So I will talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching.